in brief, Islam is not a religion. It is a political ideology that imposes itself by force and fear. American values such as compassion, respect, and acceptance of others should not get in the way of understanding the danger that threaten those very core virtues. Following these values blindly lead to demise. I am originally from Syria, and I have been closely and sadly watching the hellish war that has been going on for over five years now. I can tell you that this war is a living proof that no country on earth is immune to the destruction and cruelty Islam brings. When it comes to Islam, Americans are sound asleep. They have to wake up and realize destruction and cr cruelty can and will happen here if they continue to ignore the magnitude of this ideology. Millions of Islamists throughout the world are ready to act out their ideology, to kill or to be killed in order to be divine, have their next meal with Muhammad and sleep with 72 virgin Huria. They are indoctrinated to believe Islam is here to take over the world and restore the Islamic Khalifa of the 7th century. When they find weak governments that are more interested in political correctness rather than protecting their country, they will seize the opportunity to destroy their country's religions and replace them with Islam. They practice Islam not as a religion but as a weapon. They understand the need to infiltrate and distract from within. This is my first public speech in five years. I have sadly halted my mission as a result of the despair and frustration that has once taken over me. I have had to fight on two hostile fronts, neither of them easier than the other. The first is to fight this ideology, this vicious ideology, through my writings and speaking out in Arabic. The second front is to penetrate the mindset of those in the world who don't understand Islam and convince them that there is no such thing as Islam and radical Islam. All Islam is radical. The difficulties I faced trying to educate people in America, the America that I love and ready to sacrifice my life to protect, was beyond my ability to overcome in the past. But not today. Today I am here speaking to you. <laughs> Urging you to stand up with me against conformity and submission. People have been brainwashed to believe that all religions are basically good and have good intentions. But Islam is not good, nor does it have a good, a good intentions. Islam justifies hatred and violence, and as well as encourages it. Not that long ago, the Pope states that the Quran is a book of peace, and Islam is a peaceful religion. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> On the contrary, it is also psychologically and spiritually damaging to people like myself, who have suffered under Islamic Sharia. A week ago, I read a book called Winners Don't Cheat. It is written by an American billionaire named John Hendens and this man. Originally, I thought I would learn from the billionaire's advice and insight into business, hoping I will become a billionaire. <laughs> to my shock, to my shock, Islam was mentioned twice in the book. On page 186, the author said, listen to what he said. In fact, Islam encouraging the practice of endowing money or property called wakaf for the purpose of for the purpose of maintaining schools, hospitals, and churches. And churches. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. In fact, in fact, the concept of wakaf means exactly the opposite of what the author described. Wakaf means whatever Islam can take over and own is reserved solely for Muslims. One of the purpose of wakaf is to destroy churches, not to maintain them. For example, since ISIS took over the mosque of Iraq, not one church has been kept intact. All of them have been totally destroyed. The Pope and the billionaire have been tricked. And don't dare to tell me ISIS is not Islam or Islam is not ISIS. ISIS is walking in the footsteps of Muhammad and the teaching of Islam. The world is in denial. These powerful men are supposed to lead the majority. Yet, one cannot recognize the difference between churches and mosques. And the other claims Islam is a religion of peace. Two very conflicting and contradictory statements. We are in a real dilemma. I don't believe the author of the Pope set out to lie. I truly believe that they have fell victims themselves, victims of this rapid growing false belief in the so-called religion of peace. They didn't grow up reading the Quran in Arabic, but maybe somehow they came across a poorly translated, watered-down version of the Quran. If a successful businessman 
with billions of dollars. Or better yet, someone as holy as the Bishop of Rome can fall victim to this false sense of security and belief that Islam is peaceful, even in the face of undeniable brutality. Who could see the dangers we are facing today? They must wake up. We all must wake up. Their actions, Islam is radical, and their actions simplify the goal of destruction throughout the world. And sadly, we see this acts time and time again. If we don't wake up and realize what we are dealing with, we are doomed for destruction. It pains me deeply. It pains me deeply to lose my beloved birth country to ISIS and Islam. But more so, I cannot fathom the thought of losing my adopted country, the United <laughs> That's why we must unite and protect this great land from evil. Thank you so much.